Good morning, SK. I'm Noah. And I'm AJ. Coming up on WTV, learn how you can be a part of an upcoming winter production here at South. Learn about universities that will soon be visiting South Kitsap and how they can be a great opportunity for you. And learn interesting information about a popular club. All that and more coming up on WTV. Ugh, my dexterity sucks. Haha, <laughs> should have played a rogue. Well, at least you don't die in two hits. Can you guys just roll already? Uh, fine. To start us off, the library is still closed due to SAT testing, so Chromebook and Charger checkouts are unavailable. But don't worry, the library will open back up Thursday. But either way, you should always come to school with a fully charged Chromebook. If you're currently taking an AP class, the deadline to sign up for AP exams is this Friday. Be sure to go into your AP classroom account and mark yes or no by November 1st. If you're interested in auditioning for the winter musical Alice by Heart, please pick up an audition packet from the ASB office. See Ms. Lloyd for more information. Speaking of musicals, the fall play Treasure Island premieres this Friday. Seats are limited as you'll be right on the stage. Get your ticket now on the SK Web Store. Seniors will have time to sign up for on-the-spot admissions with Central Washington and Washington State in November. Be sure to sign up in your grade level classroom. Seattle University and St. Martin's University will be here tomorrow. Bowling practice begins Monday at High Joy Bowl. If you would like to participate, you must have everything completed in final forms, and, rem and remember you must have a current physical, an ASB card, and all fines and fees cleared from your student account. One of SK's biggest club gets started going today, Dungeons and Dragons. That's right everyone, D&D Club is back and here to stay. After doing it for many years, the previous advisor is stepping down and letting someone new take the wheel. For one, I've had a consistent group doing D&D for almost nine years now, every Saturday, and I've always thought it was really cool to have a D&D Club here. It's even better that it's one of the biggest ones we have. I'm someone that kind of knows and likes all kinds of tabletop, so it felt kind of right to take it up. People that are familiar with the club don't have to worry about much changing. Aside from the Session Zero being on the 21st in Stage 2, I'm keeping things kind of business as usual with me mostly facilitating students having their systems and their games and I'll be providing the materials. I want students to enjoy as they've been doing it because clearly it's been going pretty well. If there's any changes that need to be made, I'll kind of feel it out as it needs to be. As an advisor, Mr. Emerson will help wherever he can. Initially, I'm going to feel around how people are running it, because I'm a new element, I understand that. Uh, but I want to get to know what people are doing. I want to know what the, the usual flow is for people, what people are trying to do, and see if there's anything I can help if even needed. Because if there's people that are just going and they know what they're doing, I don't really want to stick my hands in, have too many cooks. I know as a DM, I don't like what people you know, backseat me. I wouldn't want to do it to people that are comfortable. New players and dungeon masters alike are welcomed with open arms. So for new people, if you've even heard roughly of D&D and you've not tried it, give it a shot. Even the session zero, feel out who's going to be there. Even if you don't play the first session that we have on the 29th, just see how it is. Because it you don't always know how it's going to be. And maybe the group, you'll find a group that you like, or maybe this group isn't for you and you find this one. And those that have played D&D before are invited back. If people are returning, honestly, I'll be really glad to meet you guys. I've probably seen some of you in the school. I've been here for a couple years, but it'll be nice to see you guys kind of show who you have in the back of your heads, who you want to be, how you express yourselves. It's kind of a through line that I think is important with D&D in general. If anyone is interested in D&D Club, the first session is on the 29th where groups will start playing. We hope to see you there. They meet today and every Tuesday in the Common Projects area. In sports, C-Team and JV Football both faced Rogers yesterday. C-Team scored 27 points with defense forcing four turnovers. Griffin had three touchdowns and Beam had one. JV won 39-6. Vidana, Raimler, Strobel, Grindenden, and Bird all had an outstanding game. In the schedule of events, today volleyball will be away while girls soccer is home for their senior night game. There are no games tomorrow as fall sports starts wrapping up for 
We all know of the big upcoming election. If you're 18 or older, you can still register to vote in this election. All you have to do is go register in person at the auditor's office downtown. Don't forget to mail in your ballot if you haven't yet. Ballots are due by 8 p.m. next Tuesday. You can track your, val your ballot by going online to votewa.gov. Yearbooks are now available for purchase. Order yours before December 1st for $55. At the, after the 1st, the price will increase by $10. You can order one at the ASB office or on the web store. The club's meeting today are astronomy, cosmetology and self-care, D&D, journalism, and speech and debate. Meeting tomorrow will be Autotech, Chess, International, QSA, and Realm Weavers Guild. Remember, Wolves, the library will still be closed tomorrow for testing, so be sure to keep the noise down as you pass by. Remember to also come to school with a fully charged Chromebook. With all that being said, I think we can wrap up the show now. You're right. See you later, SK.